One topic no one likes to talk about, but they love to hear what other people have to say about it is money. My money, my problems. You're knee deep in wedding planning and let's face it, the whirlwind of expenses is now reality. Hi everyone, if you're new to this channel, I'm Steph from Tone Media and I'm a New Jersey based wedding film studio. As someone who has filmed over 200 weddings and managed to budget for my own big day, I understand all the ins and outs. Some are expected, others just blindside you. So ever wonder how much to spend on a videographer for your wedding? Today, we're cracking the code to find your dream wedding videographer. We'll talk through three budget tiers, uncovering the hidden gems in each, and the things you really should consider when booking your wedding videographer. Ready to dive in? Let's start with entry level tier, which is typically a range from 1,000 to 4,000. If you're booking a wedding videographer in this range, chances are they are fairly new to the world of shooting video or shooting weddings. Just like any new job or side hustle, you have to start somewhere, right? To gain your experience and build your portfolio of work. This means in order to book work, you have to start at a lower rate. I will say that just because someone is new doesn't mean that they aren't talented or that they aren't a good fit to do their job right. Because sometimes they are very talented filmmakers and and they're just looking to branch out into some other type of different work to do something creative and just make some extra money. But there are two sides to every story, right? In this price range, just know there is a chance that the person you are booking can be so new to what they're doing that they have no idea what they're doing. You might be booking a wedding videographer without much experience with weddings or shooting. And I will just pause here and say, a wedding is a live event. So as a wedding videographer, you have to be ready to jump in, make quick decisions on the fly, and know how to work all of your equipment quickly and efficiently so you don't miss anything. But if you're on a budget for a wedding, like so many people are, then you just have to figure out what's most important to you and your wedding and the video coverage you want. When the wedding day is all over and all is said and done, just remember your wedding video and the footage you are gonna have will be some of the biggest things that you take away from your day and it will allow you to relive it over and over again. Next, the middle tier, ranging from 4,000 to 7,000. I feel like the middle package of anything is usually the most popular. It's not the lowest and it's not the highest, but it's the middle, right? So it's good. I will say you probably can't go wrong with booking a wedding videographer in this price range. I think when it comes down to this price range, it really comes down to packages and what you get for your money. Like how many hours of coverage you're getting, what are the deliverables, how many filmmakers do you get, does the package include any add-ons. I would say when considering anyone in this price range, just know that getting more for your money is not always the right move. Make sure you're looking at your videographer's website and social media pages. Look at their work. Is it consistent? Do they have any bad reviews? Who would actually be showing up to shoot your wedding? Is it a studio where they hire out freelancers? Is your videographer gonna work well with your photographer? And honestly, just ask the question of how long it would take to get your wedding film back. In my opinion, waiting a year plus to see anything from your wedding is just unacceptable. Lastly, luxury tier. The range is around 7,000 plus. If you're a bride who has been dreaming of this day for what feels like your entire life, there isn't much you are willing to sacrifice. After all the hard work and planning is all put into this day, you realize the importance of picking your photographer and videographer because after the day is over and the vows are said, these are the two things you will walk away with to help you remember this incredible day and pass your story for generations. Listen, I know it can sometimes be a tough pill to swallow when all of these wedding expenses quickly start to add up, but know that a wedding videographer in this price range will give you the best quality video, the best experience overall, not just on the wedding day, but throughout the entire process, pre-wedding and post-wedding and storytelling. Now, there's always gonna be difference in packages for each videographer and what they offer in this price range as well, but it isn't always gonna be apples to apples, right? But I will say that when choosing a videographer in this price range, 
they're likely to have higher end equipment to get better quality footage for you. They have much more experience working on wedding days with your photographer and knowing what to do in certain situations and working on the fly during a live event and really just working their camera and being creative and telling, the, telling your story. I would say that their client experience really should be top notch in this price range. I think when it comes down to picking your wedding videographer and trying to figure out what to spend on them, just remember it's not just about getting more for your money. Instead, figure out which aspects are most important to you and what you want your wedding videographer to capture for your day. Really, what is the end product you would be happy to walk away with after your wedding day? If you want more tips and advice and help planning your wedding, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Happy wedding planning.